black news media We got the latest news We don't care about the views We just represent and write Put local news internationally every night On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right Let's get it right, y'all know the type We ain't dealing with the hype We make it take flight yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on. A blessed and wonderful Friday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So, in the morning, my peeps, I have two stories to share with you. So, please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in Jamaica. So, in the morning, I don't know, say to the name Friday, the day when Mr. Michael smiled on some of the ones and ones them pack it. So, go and stay safe out there. Yeah, man, you don't know how the things set in the streets. Safe travel, pond the gravel, continue to look out on the corner, yeah, because what? The old dirty corner boy, them always out there. Alerts. Yeah, man. So, in the morning, my peeps, I have two stories to share with you. Know. One is an international story, and from we got international story, that simple means it involves a Jamaican national. Yeah, man, really sad situation with that one. And we are going to also talk about the man of the moment, Nesta Bigford, otherwise known in the criminal underworld as a bigger crime. Yeah, man, the brother there, a step road hard for the past couple of years and still manages to elude the crime officers. Yeah, man. But watch you now, the crime officers, them raid bigger crime place. And you really want to stick around to see what they uncovered. This will definitely be mind-boggling. So definitely stay tuned as we continue. So this first story that we are going to talk about, as I stated, is an international story. But it brings me back to a place where, as a youth growing up, we see a whole heap of the ones and ones them. Whether them leave when time them young, when them in a them teens or when them are adults leave to Uncle Sam or them go to Canada or Europe to go seek a better life because them want to provide for themselves and also for the family members left behind. I have friends where them parents leave them from them young and them not see them back till them are grown men and women. So these people definitely go overseas, put in some hard work and try to provide for the ones and ones them left behind. And when we see atrocities like this happen, it just grieve we a certain way because nobody now leave Jamaica for go overseas for end up losing three pints in such a brutal way. And the thing about this story, you know, is that I know one regular little criminal element out there in the streets take the people them life is them own family member yeah man may i tell you the brutal onslaught was committed by their own family member now on your screen is the jamaica national that was in that brutal onslaught hyacinth brown johnson age 65 her life was taken by her own grandson. So I could get into the meat of the matter so I can understand exactly what on. All of this took place last week, Friday, in Queens, New York. So the police report is stating that the Queensman accused of the fatal tab tab up of three female relatives has provided grisly details to the police of the triple slain whilst being grilled by the NYPD detectives in Virginia. The police reports also states that he is now awaiting extradition back to New York. Jabari Borrell, the person presently on your screen, age 22, waived his Miranda rights and gave cops specific details on how he took the life 
of each of his victims, including his 65-year-old grandmother, who tried her utmost best, detective said, to shield her wheelchair-bound 26-year-old stepdaughter from his brutal onslaught. The police reports also stated that Borrell allegedly stole the older woman's 2004 Toyota Serena motor car after the Springfield Garden brutal onslaught. Yeah, man, may I tell you, say, the man deal with the scene a certain type of way last week Friday and then drove all the way to Virginia where he was nabbed on Sunday when the vehicle ran out of gas along the I-95 highway. An NYPD spokesperson stated that the police have begun process to bring Borrell back to Queens, New York. He is awaiting to be extradited and charges remain pending at this point, the representative stated. A representative from the Queens District Attorney's Office stated that Borrell is facing three counts, each of first degree and second degree loss of life and will also be charged with criminal possession of a weapon. Borrell is accused of fatally using a knife for tab tab up Hyacinth Brown Johnson, age 65, her 47-year-old daughter Latoya Garden, who is the suspect's aunt, and Brown Johnson's stepdaughter Patrice Johnson. The police reports also stated that this deadly rampage erupted after Borrell was smoking marijuana in the house and got into an argument with his grandmother after she told him not to smoke inside and if he wishes to smoke, go outside with it or stop smoking altogether. And he got into a fit and snapped and turned his rage and anger on all three women. Boy, may I tell him my peeps. Sometimes I really have to wonder what has become of us as humans. So, you see my peeps, this is not necessarily a Jamaican thing, you know. It's a human nature right you now. We just hate and quick to take somebody's life. As simple as that. Your grandmother say, yo, don't smoke no weed in my house. Go to a door, go burn your ganja. And you end up take your grandmother's life. Your step anti life. Are you anti life? Boy, may I tell you, things definitely not get worse than that. But anyway, back on local style, right you now. So the police, them put on a serious raid, may I tell you, no, my peeps. Yeah, man, out a bigger crime place, man. The Jamaica Anti Gang Task Force at it again. Yeah, man. So on your screen, my peeps, is the man of the moment, the man dubbed as Jamaica's most wanted, Nesta Morrison, otherwise known as bigger crime in the criminal underworld. Members of the Jamaica Anti-Gang Task Force raided bigger crime's hideout yesterday and seized three firearms. So yesterday evening, yeah man, definitely November 24th, the Joint Anti-Gang Task Force closed in on one of the many hideouts of Jamaica's most wanted. They recovered these two assault rifles, one Browning double action 9mm pistol and a total of 129 assorted rounds of ammunition, 180. 8 live 5.56 yeah man rounds and 16 live 9mm rounds 5 12 gauge shotgun rounds paramilitary equipment and a large sum of US counterfeit cash among other contrabands the security forces states that they will not seize until bigger crime either get walk out or chalk out, depending upon how him choose to go out. Yeah, man.
So the hierarchy of the Jamaica Constabulary Force and that of the Jamaica Defence Force has clearly stated that the security forces will not cease until bigger crime, fire blaze and his other associates of the Tankwell Hill Gang are captured and brought to justice. So if anyone have any information about their whereabouts or that of any other criminal elements associated with them, please contact Crime Stop at 311. The Jamaica Anti Gang Task Force tip line at 876 224 4483 or the JDF tip line at 876 837 8888. The Jamaica Anti Gang Task Force states that it will be relentless in its efforts to dismantle gangs across Jamaica as it will strive to keep our island home safe. Nearly 150 lives were saved in the recovery of those weapons and ammunition. Yeah, man. As we all know, persons who have been tuning into on the spot news media over the years would have known for sure that on the spot news media has covered many blogs in relation to bigger crime. So go back in time and watch these blogs and get familiar with some of the faces associated with bigger crime and also the faces of his criminal rivals. Yeah man, these blogs will definitely keep on up to speed. And after which, I want to go back and look on them picture here. Furthermore, let me show you. Look on all these rounds and ammunition and firearms that the police recovered. But take a good look on how big a crime is living in these wooded areas. This is not a life that is worthy of any human being. So all you younger youths out there who aspire to be a bigger crime, look on the lifestyle in front of you. All dirty zinc up zinc up place in a bush. I so uno have to live when time uno become wanted men. Uno have to sleep a whole mattress out a door. Yeah man, I so uno want continue to live. Youth and youth, we advise uno still you know. We are beg and we are plead to uno stay away from a life of crime. Look pa uno screen. Is this? The life that you know want to live, make you no know mommy proud, make you no know daddy proud, and stay away from a life of crime. Again, a word to the wise is always sufficient. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.